Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create envelopes and labels. So on the screen, I have got a letter with an address block and I'm going to create an envelope based on this address block and labels using this address block. So normally I would be on home. The feature I want to show you is on the mailings tab and it's on the same part of the ribbon as mail merge, but it is not anything to do with mail merge. Or it hasn't anything to do with mail merge. It's this little bit at the beginning where it says create envelope and create labels. Whichever you click, you go to the same place, just on a different tab. So what I need to do, first of all, is highlight this address block. Go to the envelope option first off. And then you can see you've got this highlighted and you've got a button there at the bottom that says add to the documents. You've got options there to change the type of envelope. If I just click into that, this is the one that's selected at the moment. There's hundreds and hundreds of different envelope types. And I'm just going to leave that on the default. Just cancel that off. If I click add to document, this will get added to the document. And you can see it at the top and there's the envelope. And if that's not quite center or how you want it, you can move that around because that's just a box. Now, if I just minimize this a little bit so you can see how that sits. I used to use this quite a lot, writing letters to business clients. You've written a letter, you can create the envelope, print the letter off, print the envelope off if your printer will take envelopes. And it's quite nice and neat and tidy and quick. So that's the first one. So now what I want to do is get a new document. Uh, I'll just copy this actually, this address. Copy this, control N for new. Just paste that address block in there. And I'll just get the, the auto text that I had, I had there, which was like so. So I don't really need this bit for what I'm going to do now with labels. So labels, now in mail merge, if when you do labels, you'll get a label per address in your database or your data source. So whatever your data source is, there will be one label per data source. This is not that. We are not doing mail merge. This will be a label of this address block only. And you can decide how many you want of this address block. So this would be for, say, your moving house and it's your new address and you want to give your new address to your friends and family. You could create a, a sheet of labels and then send them off. That's what this is about. Now, same place, labels. So that was where we were before, envelopes. Now we're on labels, so it's the same place. And you've got a print option straight away, which um, I would watch that one because if you're not on the right label, you could get some weird results. So in options, you can see that there are lots and lots of different, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of different label options. That's the one I want, so I'm going to keep on it so I don't lose it. But to see what it is, you go into details, and then you can see that this is going to go three across and seven down, which is what I want. But there are, if I just scroll up and have a look, there's all these, look, loads. And we can't get back to where I want to go. There we go, that was lucky. I didn't I knew I didn't want to do that. So you can also create a new label, which I'm not going to do, but that's you starting from scratch and setting it up, giving it a name and doing the size and dimensions and everything. Well, I'm not going to do that. So that's what I want. So I'll click OK. Now I could just print that and it would print the labels as I've selected three across and seven down. But if you put it into a new document, you'll actually get that as a word table and you'll see it. So now you can see all those addresses repeated all the way down, three across and seven down. And as you can see, that is a word table. So that's basically all I want to talk about on, we'll just close this one down, using these two features, envelopes and labels. Sometimes think it shouldn't be on the mail merge part of the ribbon because it's slightly confusing. People click on that and then don't really know what to do next when they really want it to be in mail merge. But that's um, how to create letters, how to create envelopes and labels. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.